Hey everyone. In this example video, we are asked to approximate the following definite integral from 1 to 6 using the trapezoid rule with 5 subintervals. Let's just recall what the trapezoid rule is. This technique is one of several numerical methods used to approximate definite integrals that are difficult or impossible to solve analytically. As we learned in the last video, our trapezoid rule with equal step sizes is represented using this equation here. Visually, this can be viewed as approximating this blue area here by chopping it up into smaller trapezoid shapes and summing them together. The accuracy of this method improves with more trapezoids, meaning our selected step size is a trade-off as smaller step sizes will give us more accurate solutions at the cost of more work or computation time. Now, let's get into solving this problem. The first thing we are going to do is graph our function. The equation we are given looks something like this. Recall from earlier math classes, if you don't know what the function looks like, you can either just plug in a bunch of inputs and plot their outputs, or use some graphing software if that is available to you. Let's now calculate our step size. That is going to be our delta x in the trapezoid rule formula. This represents the size of every step in the x direction we are going to take. We are told in the problem statement that we want five equally spaced intervals. Therefore, we are going to have step sizes of our total distance of integration, so b minus a, over our number of intervals, n. This is our upper bound 6 minus our lower bound of 1 over 5, which gives us a step size of 1. Let's add these divisions to our graph now. You'll see that with the trapezoid rule, we have a coefficient pattern of 1 on our first and last terms, and all interior terms have coefficients of 2. Check out the theory video in the description down below for more information on why this pattern exists if you're curious. As we just wrote out, we need to find our output values such that we can build our approximating trapezoids. Therefore, we will build the following input output table and plug our inputs into the function that we wish to approximate. Now, let's plug in all our values and simplify. This results in an approximate definite integral of 15.64. But how close is this to the actual answer? Well, as we talked about in a previous video, the largest error we could possibly incur while using the trapezoid rule is m times b minus a cubed over 12 times our step size squared. m is simply the absolute maximum value that the second derivative of our function within our bounds can reach. This isn't always going to be easy to find, so I'm just going to use a derivative calculator as it makes our lives much easier. However, you could find them by hand or maybe given them on a test. I'm going to leave links to a few derivative calculators in the description down below so that you can use them for assistance on future problems. I'm going to graph the second derivative in Excel to see roughly where our second derivative reaches a maximum absolute value. This is an input of 6, where the second derivative reaches 6.903. Plugging all this information into our error formula, we get that with our current step size, the maximum error is 2.88. Therefore, we can say that this approximate definite integral of xe to the power of sine x between the bounds of 1 and 6 is 15.64 plus or minus 2.88. If this is insufficient for your application, we would simply repeat this process with a smaller step size. In the future example, we will work in the reverse and calculate how many steps we need in a problem to reach a given level of error, so stay tuned for that. I hope that this video helped your understanding of how to approximate a definite integral using the trapezoid rule and approximate its error. If you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, and consider checking out our YouTube memberships by clicking that join button down below. However, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns about the information I provided in this video, please leave a comment down below and I will do my best to address your concerns.